Yeah. Hell, like podium. Scott, <laughs> what's this? Football. That's the other one. Oh, Let's football. I'm going to rub it out. Jeez. How's Mason doing? What do you think? Oh, my God. Did you see it? I mean, I couldn't tell if it was a headshot at first. That's for sure. Uh, I, after the first period, I like, you know, we, we had a little rough first period, but that's normal. Like, we were uh, trying to square everything on the rush and be cute, and, and then we started to win puck battles. And then when we started to win puck battles, better hockey came out. So it was, uh, uh, we, so we'll get a lot of good things, except for the, that was a dirty hit. And uh, we'll lose him now for a little bit. So uh, it's unfortunate that that happened. When you come into an exhibition like this, what are you looking for out of your team on the ice? The, you know, you're putting your systems in, then you got to, there's a, there's a multitude of things. You know, your guys staying true to how you're trying to play and then how you play inside it. And for us, a lot of times, skill is not one of our issues. Our issues is going to be how hard we play, like puck battles, winning puck battles along the wall. Uh, there were two great clips we talked about after the uh, second period where, where Connor Kurth got on, on a power play, won a, won a wall battle, and Pino won a wall battle. And those are things that we can show now moving forward. Like those keep plays alive. You know, you, you hate being one and done. We call it one and done. You go into the zone and you, you know, you fly by your one and done, you got a back check. Um, you have to keep pucks alive and stay on top of it. So, and it, a lot of times too, what we're doing is uh, these kids do all the, you know, summer hockey, summer training, skill development, well, and it's all great, but that's not hockey. <laughs> you, know? you know, it's great inside how hard you got to compete. So every team and everyone in the country is, you know, you're, you're, you're chunking off the, the cobwebs to how hard you got to play. The last two periods, I liked a lot of the things we did. When you see the guys stop and try to pull off the skill move and all of a sudden there's all that speed, is that a clip for you to, to look at? Well, it, it's... Once your engine's going and you're playing the right way, you, you know, we're never going to stop our skilled guys from, but when you're trying to do it every shift, every rush, and, and that's why we got better at it tonight. We'll have some good clips to show. Three new centers trying out tonight, you know, yep. Nelson back, but three new guys. What do you see out of those three guys? Uh, I thought Jimmy Clark was really good tonight. Uh, I, all of them were, like, Ollie was, you know, was getting back under pucks, uh, uh, Lammer, um, you know, we were working face-offs, but Lammer, you know, um, um, was Hugh, he's out, Hugh, Hugh, he could, should be back next week. Um, and he gives us another veteran center in there. But I, they all, you know, we'll break down film, but they all did a good job tonight. Looks like you kind of shuffled the 70 through the lineup throughout the night like you did a lot last year. Is that kind of what you're looking to do this year as well? If you can. We could last year, if you can. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Got to see the power play out against another team. What did you take away from that initially? We, uh, we were really good in practice. We were getting better. We only worked it twice. And then we were hurrying it tonight. And when you hurry it, it you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta just take what they, what they give you. And we were hurrying it, but that's normal. Benefit playing a Division One school in an exhibition, you know, rather than a Bringing down a Canadian school, in other words, the, uh, well, I, the big, level ben the big benefit is playing this team in Minnesota, you know, and a you know, great student section tonight in, in Bemidji will bring a lot of people in. You know, there's more, there's much more uh, oomph playing an in-state team, you know. So I, I think it's uh, uh, one of the only good things that came out of COVID is, is we get to play these exhibition games. And I think a lot of times we're going to try to do it. We did with St. Thomas, we did it twice now with Bemidji, we'll try to keep it in-state. How does the rink play? Uh, How's the ice? How uh, no, I tell you, the ice is great. Uh, uh, it's really a good fast sheet ice. Like yeah, it. and so there's new technology going to work there. But it was, it was, we're getting, uh, it's good. Or it's not as lively. <laughs> well, um, I don't. I, I, didn't, I wasn't watching the boards. Well, I thought so. you'd be practicing it during the uh, week to see uh, how to play off the boards. So. No, huh? we'll, we'll keep looking at that more when you watch film and see how things happen off the boards. Justin, pretty light work with the 12 shots. Get a look at your other goalie as well. What yeah, did you take away from no, that? Not only did he have 12 shots, but he had to handle the puck 24 times. Like he, he was pretty busy for 25 minutes. 
And then we sure got in there, you know, and, and you know, he'd like that one back, but that, you know, hadn't played. So he did a, he did a great job in there for us. So uh, it was great to get him in there. The guys were fired up for him. Is it good for him to get in there with Harry, kind of dealing with the injury stuff coming into the year? Yeah, we got no choice. We only got two right now. But I think Nathan's getting, we're getting closer. Um, what do you think Pinnany need me brought to that top line? Um, we got we had all the lines, we had them all balanced out tonight. So there were, uh, um, he's taken a huge step from a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a good good summer uh, of training. He was so limited the summer before coming off his of surgeries, um, and and it was a real good game for him to take a step forward. You bet. Forward Connor Kurt. Connor, what do you look for in an exhibition game after practicing against your teammates for so long? Yeah, uh, I think the biggest thing is just getting out there for the first time, getting your legs under you, uh, just building some chemistry that you really can't build in practice and implementing the systems early. What's the hardest thing to implement? Oh, uh, probably the D zone. It's, uh, it's just a different speed, and especially when you don't know who you're going against, like in practice every day, you got to adjust early. So I think once that's set in, you kind of build off that, but that's definitely the hardest. What was the day like today? Sunday's kind of an unusual time for you guys to play. Yeah, I think since it's the first one, it didn't really affect us too much. I think it was just excitement. I know I woke up this morning feeling like a kid on Christmas. Like, that was my first thought. So <laughs> I was just excited to get here and get back out there. Anything different about the new rink with the tighter corners and less width? Uh, to be honest, I didn't notice much. Um, we're not playing on the Atlantic Ocean anymore, so that's, <laughs> you know, it's different. But... Um, I didn't notice it too much, especially after practicing for a while. Ice sheet was good? Great. Ice was awesome. How'd you think uh, the new power play felt? It was good. Um, you know, it's obviously tough when you don't have Lacombe, Nyes, and Cools to kind of do their thing out there, but I think we'll establish some chemistry and find our own rhythm. Are you noticing a rhythm in the locker room with those guys moving on? Yeah, we got a great group. Uh, Moss does a great job bringing in good guys. So we've had a lot of camaraderie early, and uh, there's not much else to say. We, we're really excited about this group and getting after it next weekend. How do you approach your sophomore year? Um, <clears throat> I think for me this year, it's just coming in with a lot more confidence, knowing, you know, that's kind of the same when my first and second year junior. You, you know the league, you know the competition, you know what you need to do. Um, also, just trying to be a leader. We had some great leaders last year that made the freshmen feel welcome. So trying to implement that, trying to learn from them and make sure the freshmen feel good and not like freshmen. They're just another one of the boys on the team. First game with some film. Is there anything you're looking to, to go back and see a second time or, or a third person view? Uh, yeah, I had uh, play to Rhett uh, in the neutral zone. I came back and back checked the guy and got him and then he was open and I missed him and I'm going to watch that one again to make sure I don't do that again. I'm sure it'll happen, but try and eliminate that. And then probably just some D zone clips adjust. Like, like I said, it's the toughest thing you implement early. So yeah, I probably watch, watch some D zone clips and find my guy a little better. Thoughts on Brody in the middle. What's he like as a center? Oh, Brody was great today. Uh, I don't, I don't know the last time he played center, but he did a great job on the dot and in the D zone. He was great. I have nothing else to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right. Junior forward, Brett Pitlick. Brett, exhibition, what do you take out of it? Um, the word fun comes to my mind. I thought that was a fun game for our group, and just to kind of get the season rolling was kind of the whole aspect of it. So a lot of fun. What kind of mindset do you take into it other than having fun? What are you trying to get out of it? Um, there's definitely a big winning mentality and a huge competition factor within our team. So uh, finding our edge and our compete level and bringing it to every game is kind of what we're pushing for. It's kind of a slow start in the first period. What do you talk about between periods to come out in the second like you did? Um, honestly, I felt the energy was to kind of just keep sticking with it. Um, it was a slow start, but ultimately I thought we had good traction throughout and kind of just kept going and rising. Is there anything you're anxious to look at the film about and go back and see maybe from a third person? I'm sure there is a place for everyone that we wish we might have had back, but I thought oh, overall it was pretty good. Any that you're proud of that you want to go back and look? And see? Um, maybe a few.
Uh, Brody at center, what do you think? How do you do? Yeah, he's an unbelievable player and he's a great center. How about the ice? How about the rink? How did it play? Love it. Unbelievable. Love it. Could you speed up pretty quick? Yeah, all the guys really enjoy it, and we thought it's some of the best ice we've ever been on. Wow, really? Wow, wow. In practice this week, obviously game, a lot of heat in the arena, but during practice it was awesome. Yeah, that's cool. It seemed like you guys were more prone to forecheck rather than sit back, like on the big ice, you could kind of sit back once the D got established. Is that just excitement of the exhibition, or is that maybe just a change of mindset with a different rig size? Um, probably a combination of everything you're saying. I think we're very excited and we're not too familiar with everything with the systems and all that, but we, we definitely want to jump on plays and all that. How do you feel about the power play tonight? You guys got a couple looks throughout the game. Yeah, I think we're finding our way. We still got some space to improve, but I thought we, we did well, in, but there's much improvement that we can be made. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.